face, I'm in Aaron, and today we are doing an eyeshadow swatching slash testing. Um, I got this eyeshadow off of Wish and I thought we would test it today. It says it's Quayon 12 color eyeshadow color. So the palette looks like this. You will have seen this in a recent Wish haul if you follow my Wish hauls. I believe it was Wish that I got this from, or it might have been June. I, I can't quite find because I've ordered quite a lot of stuff recently off both Wish and June. Um, so this is by Quayon. I've never heard of that before, but there it is. And it has um, 12 different colours, and it comes with a little brush, but we're going to use the brushes that I picked up from Primark. I believe they're Primark ones. I have a Primark or Poundland applicator brushes so that we don't mess up just the one brush. So here are a look at the colours and we're going to swatch all 12 of them um, on my arm and we're going to see how they look. I would do them on my eyes um, but I have quite sensitive eyes and to take makeup on and off, on and off, on and off um, isn't very good for my skin. So here we have all 12. If you're wondering about my lips, I'm wearing glue. Looks very nice. Um, thank you to Snowy. He told me to wear some lipstick in every video as like a, a minimum. So today I am wearing this Carmadu, which I got off eBay a while ago. And it's just a blue colour. And I actually did a review on all of these. Um, on my channel. If I can find it, I will link it at the end. Um, but I did get these all off eBay a couple of months ago, three, four months ago, and I did an entire review of all these, so I will try and find that video, and I will try and put it at the end, along with my makeup swatching playlist as well. So I'm going to try and do a different colour lipstick every video, if possible, that I own. So I might have to buy some more lipsticks, because I don't own many. So here are the colours and we're going to test it out. The palette itself, when I bought this palette, I believe it was around two or three pounds. It was only a very cheap palette on um, Wish or June. So there's the colours once again. So we'll start off from one side and we'll work our way across. So we'll start this end with the light neutrals. We'll work to the mid blues and the purples and then at the end we'll go to the sort of browns and that. So we'll try the cream first. Cream is always the first colour that I try. Because, um, you know, um, you need to check the consistency of the makeup and everything. Um, it's alright. You probably can't see that. It's very, very pale. Very pale white. Let's see. It is actually breaking up quite a lot, as you can see there taking quite a lot just to get like a base colour. We'll try one more. Um, it's not really... I mean it gives a shine. Um, you're not going to get a brilliant from a white. I mean white doesn't really have a lot of colour pigment to use in it. Right, the next colour we're going to try is this brown here. It looks like a copper. It looks like a gorgeous copper colour. Oh look at that making a mess on my floor while I'm at it. So here's the brown, it's like a copper colour, which looks really nice. You'll have to excuse the mess in the background, I've had such a weekend, um, my drains all blocked, and I'm still having my bathroom fitted, so everything's a bit topsy-turvy. My wash machine's on the blank, my tumble dryer's on the blank, my whole house is falling apart. So here we're going to try the silver. So these are only like tiny little eyeshadows, obviously. They're very, very small and basic um, eyeshadows. Um, so here we have the silver. The silver isn't coming up as well. It's really, really plain. If you can see that there, it's like here. It's really, really plain. We'll try one more. Like, like um, <clears throat> I say before, eyeshadows don't have to be in your face. They just have to be enough just to make your eyes pop. Next, we're going to try this brown down the bottom here, which looks like a kind of mocha. I suppose it's more of a cappuccino brown. 
with coffee colours. Oh, look at that. So this is a very dark brown. Look at that. That is literally dark, dark. So we're talking like in your face dark. So not really feeling the colour. Now we're going to go from the kind of neutrals, I suppose, and we're going to go to a bit of colour. So we're going to go for this light blue. It's kind of like a baby blue, I would say. And my sister's having a baby soon, so we're going to have a new baby to the family. <coughs> She's going to have a little baby, so baby blue colour. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Actually kind of goes with my lips at the minute. It would kind of work well. So yeah, I'm going to start wearing lipstick in every video if I can. Sometimes it might be the same lipstick because um, I do sometimes do two or three videos in the same day. So you might get the same lipstick in each video. So next we're going to do this kind of, I want to say it's like a beige colour. It's got a kind of gold tinge to it, but um, it's not really in your face. It's more like a, a light bronzy colour. You see that there? Very, very light. Again, um, you'll have to excuse the lighting in my house. It's terrible. I live in a bungalow. And I have the sun coming in my front window like most of the day. Um, so now we're going to try this bright blue. And I have high hopes for this blue matching my lipstick. Which is why I kind of went for a blue today. Without in a bit of a blue mood. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm a little under the weather. with maybe a little bit of cold again. Because I'm forever getting cold. So here we have this blue. Now I hate to say it but that blue is absolutely gorgeous with my lips it really does go I think it does it justice then the next color we're going to try is this kind of ultraviolet color really good violet color like I said I would try these on my eyes I have very sensitive skin and I have a thing about my eyes so to take it on and off and on and off it would really <laughs> really upset me because my eyes are very sensitive so here we have the purple loving the purple color it's a nice neutral kind of not in your face purple but just enough purple so now we're going for this color now to me this is a coral it looks like a pinky like a pinky coral although it's coming off like brown oh no maybe not it does have a pink corally look to it be honest um it does look pink you can see that there's like a pink coral um it's got like a hinge of brown in it but it does look coral it's here it's very very light we'll try one more so yeah it's a light pink coral again which looks very nice now we're going to try this kind of bronzy gold color at the bottom all of these are metallic, which is nice. So you're looking for that little bit of glitz in your life. Um, this is the palette to go for. So here we have again a nice bronze colour. There's quite a lot of browns in this palette, I found. So lots of bronzes. Now we have another brown again. Another brown up here. Another bronze colour. So this palette... It's all right. It kind of interested me in its whole colour base. Like, you've got the neutrals one side, you've got browns the sort of other side with other browns. And then you've got like three colours in the middle where you've got the blue, the darker blue, the purple and maybe the corally pink colour that kind of go with it. So there's the brown, another brown again. Which kind of messes up the palette a little. I mean, if it was going to be all neutral, then yeah. But I'm not sure where the blue and the purple, like, come into it. I can't say I would wear blue and brown together. And then, last of all, we have this really dark colour here, which is practically black, which is what it's coming up as. So, all in all... Um, this Quayon palette, you get 12 colours, 
um, and you go from the beiges down here to browns, then you have a pop of colour, and then you go back to the darker browns. So the palette kind of goes from neutrals to a pop of colour, and then it darkens off. So a good range of colours. I have to say that at the minute, with the fact that I'm wearing blue, um, the dark blue here is probably my favourite. And then I would say the dark blue, and then the purple, and then this kind of blue down here. So probably the blues and the purples for me. I do have quite light skin, so things like the browns up here are quite harsh. Um, and then you get the white, which no and then the other kind of browns are okay so all in all it's not a bad palette i'm not overly excited about the palette um i bought it because it was cheap <laughs> and it's a good thing about wish their palettes are quite cheap um so it looks like this and it's called the Quayon 12 color eyeshadow palette um i will see if i can try and link it below um but it looks like this, so it has had a good beating in there from being used. But if you like this video and you want to give it a thumbs up, please do so. If you love the colour I'm wearing and you think it suits me, you can give this video a thumbs up as well. If you want to see all my other swatching videos and my makeup trines, I will link it at the end. And I will also try and link the lipstick one that I did that I'm currently wearing um, at the end as well, if I can find it. I've got like 300 videos or something to go back through, but I will see if I can try and find it. If I can't, I will definitely link my recent try-ons as well. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel, um, if you haven't already, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye!